people in pain, people who are weak, are not going to tolerate that for very long. Okay, it's a great strengthening tool and it's static and it's great for the lumbar spine and we're going to use that. But to teach the correct form, we're going to get them on their knees and that's where I start people. So see how her hips are lower than her, her shoulders. So we've got to get her up a little bit higher so the hips are in line with the shoulders so she can be in a plank, in a horizontal plank. Now at that point, we've also got to get her elbows back under her shoulders a little bit more and then we've got to stop her cheating. So most people want to cheat and gain stability. So when they do that, they connect, they're gaining stability. We've got to stop them cheating. So this is way harder. Now you either can do that or you can rotate your hands up, whatever you want. You can make a fist. If you're starting to struggle, you can make a fist. Now put a load on there. It's like a progression load, but there's not too much load down through the back. There's definitely no axial load, which is great. Knees hips, shoulders is one line. What you don't want to be is sitting up here and cheating, okay? You also don't want to be sunk down into this position here. So she's rotate that ball underneath her and keep this part not moving. So she's trying to maintain and think about a center is here, not the centers there. That'll work a lot more sideways. That's going to give you a lateral load, but still not compressing through there, which gives you that extra muscle work and reinforcement of muscles into that movement pattern. So when she needs to use that core, when she's weight bearing, load bearing, lifting, things are working a little better for her. And this is a way to train it and strengthen up for that task.